There are three main intervention techniques that occupational therapists use when treating clients using the NDT principles. They are guiding, mobilization, and weight bearing. NDT is generally used with populations that have neurological physical disabilities, such as someone who suffered a stroke and has hemiplegia or cerebral palsy with a contracture. As Vicki mentioned, the guiding theory is to facilitate typical posture and movement patterns. These treatments help clients to use the affected limb with more effective and typical movement patterns. This is through a sensory motor feedback principle loop to, rem to remediate motor skills. So one technique is called guiding. It's when you use the unaffected side to guide the affected side to complete a task. Here Anu is going to demonstrate guiding to take a drink from a cup. So she's using her left hand, which is unaffected, to drink from the right. So what did you think of that, Anu? It was very helpful. Thank you for participating. Another technique used in OT intervention is mobilization. The purpose of this technique is to elicit postural alignment prior to a functional activity. It allows the client to access the range of motion needed for the task. For example, reaching and grasping requires shoulder flexion. Anu here is going to demonstrate mobilization. You can say hi, Anu. <laughs> no, she's, she's too shy. Okay, so before working on it, what you would do is you would take your hands and clasp them together with your forearms resting on the table. You would then lean forward, allowing for shoulder flexion, and then pull back. And that just pulls the body into good postural alignment before doing a reaching or grasping feel that. activity. That was... You liked it? Yeah, it's a good um, stretch for your back. Good stretch. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone, Kaylee here, and this is Anu, and today we're going to be talking about NDT, and the theory that we're going to be talking about is open chain versus closed chain in a treatment session. First of all, open chain is when the arm or hand, the arm or leg, is free to move. It's not connected to any type of surface. This is a little more challenging for the client because they have to constantly maintain and right themselves, and if they're using um, atypical compensatory strategies, they will just automatically go towards those positions. In a closed chain, their, their hand or uh, limb is connected to a surface, and this is good because the weight bearing in a closed chain helps to reduce spasticity, it supports your base proximally so that you can weight bear on the affected side and move the arm distally and that is helping support the weight and maintain the postural alignment. And it's also good for fall prevention because it reduces the risk for injury during a task at home. So Anu here is going to demonstrate a functional activity with the closed chain principle of weight bearing. So in this situation, her right arm is the affected side, and she's going to reach and grasp for an object. And there you have it. Okay. The next couple video clips are various functional activities that you would see clients doing. So using your activity analysis skills, I want you to think, is this a closed chain or an open chain activity? And then also in your head, if it's open chain, how could you change it to a closed chain to uh, use NDT theoretical principles in your treatment. All right, guys, good luck.